Hey guys, welcome back to our baby life. I feel a bit discombobulated because I didn't film the other day because I had some dental work done and half my face was numb. And then yesterday I started to film, but I just had like a few random clips here and there. But anyway, so we're gonna try and start <laughs> filming. Yeah, we're gonna try and start filming today, even though really what's going on right now is just I have tons of organizing things to do yeah, and like getting mommy. things together. Which advent calendar do you want to do? Um, salt caramel. Salt and caramel. A toilet again. Oh gee, those toilets. <laughs> toilets keep popping up everywhere. <laughs> that's the wrapper and that's the toilet. The wrapper and the toilet, huh? Hey, Bubba. Hey, handsome boy. Yeah. All right. Now, no more candy till after lunch, okay? All right. I just want to eat all the candy. I know you do. There's little TT in her bean bag. Hey, TT. You got the bag this morning. Okay, so I've been trying to make a little bit of a to-do list each day because I have so many, like, random things to do right now. So I'm trying to kind of keep myself together and productive and on track. So... <laughs> First thing that I need to do today is this blood test kit from Everly Well that I did recently. I've completed all the things, like these guys saw me doing all that spit really test the other day. Yeah, so I have to register it online, I have to do whatever, I haven't done that yet, and then I have to like put it in the mail. So let's figure out how to do this. Alright, so I've set Zia up with a little activity, so hopefully she can have some fun while I do this. And this is using her little magnet tiles, I made like little... Christmas trees and a little like house like a gingerbread house or a holiday house and then she's got little jingle bells in there and she can decorate them by sticking obviously the metal bells stick to the magnet tile so it's really cool and now she's dropping them through the window that's clever that's fun lovey place the box in the return envelope now the next thing on my to-do list is to make my coconut almond yogurt today so I already have my coconut like kind of prepared, prepped anyway, because I had done that in the RV when we were traveling. We didn't have access to coconuts. I would buy like a bunch of coconuts at a time, like literally had like a dozen coconuts at one time. And I would crack them all open, get all the meat out, clean it, dump all the coconut water out, and then I would blend it up and then freeze it and pack it so that I would have it, the meat and water frozen. And then I could just mix it when I needed like in individual like to last for a week or so at a time so what I need to do now is just soak my almonds what baby okay hang on one second so I'm just using organic raw almonds and then I put filtered water I'm not making the yogurt yet baby I'm just soaking the almonds you're not missing out you need to put plenty enough water because the almonds will soak up the water and swell up and then I can just leave this sit for a few hours while I do my other stuff and then I can make my yogurt come back and make that this evening okay I know you're ready to make your yogurt you love that yogurt but we're not making it yet because we've got to soak the almonds first we're gonna let them soak this is what I've been working on Organizing all of Zia's things and labeling it and making it beautiful. So excited. These are really long ones. They're not like super huge, but they're a really good size. So I'm going to get a few more of those things today to finish up. But I'm really happy with the way things are going. Got a big box down here for books. Got another one down there with imaginative play stuff. I'm going to make myself a smoothie. Your job is to eat coconuts, huh? You are coconut obsessed, just like your mommy. And I'm finally gonna get to try this new veg protein, like cold brew latte flavor. Fraser got this a while back, but I haven't even tried it yet. Mmm, it smells delicious. You wanna smell? It looks super soft and buttery. Hey, I'm gonna dump that in there for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Thank you. Put that back in the bag. Mmm, it smells, it smells good, doesn't it? It's actually really powdery. It reminds me of like the old school whey protein. Can I put some more banana? 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 I wish I had frozen bananas, but we don't have any frozen right now. These are barely even ripe. Here you go. You want to put that in? 
gently so it doesn't poof up anywhere. Gently, there you go. Can you organize them? Frozen, it sticks to you. Let me see, use your mouth, okay? You kind of ripped, ripped your lip off a little bit there. Okay, let me rub it on. Look, it won't stick now. Let me just rub it on you so that it just feels a little bit better. She's gonna help you. Daddy, you missed it, Daddy. Baby girl just had her first experience of she put the ice in her mouth and it stuck to her and she. She did good after the it fact. It feels funny when the ice sticks to your tongue, huh? The thing is, she kind of did, you pulled it off and then made it all melt. Oh, it feels funny when the ice sticks to your tongue, huh? This protein is definitely way different than any of the other like plant-based proteins that I've had. This is definitely like a bodybuilder style protein. This reminds me of the old school like Almost has like that fluffy texture, like a gladiator protein from um, Smoothie King, if you guys remember that. Yeah, not good or bad. It's just that some people like that texture and some people don't like that texture. I just remember when I, I used to work at Smoothie King and some people either loved it or hated it. Some people liked it because it made them feel more full and some people didn't like that fluffiness, I don't know. But I just think it's interesting because I've never had a plant-based protein like this before. Now Zia and I are working on another project these are little routine cards, and I had drawn some myself for her that we used in New Zealand, and it helped her with her daily routines. And I feel like she really needs that again. The ones that I had made were just on paper and stuck up with stickers, and they're all falling down. So I wanted to get, and plus I wanted to make more for different sections of her day. So I found these on Etsy, and I printed these out on some cardstock. I may or may not laminate them. But yeah, so I'm gonna cut these little cards out for her. You're going to cut those, and then she's got her scissors, and she loves to cut. So she's cutting, like, the extra pieces, and she's practicing her cutting skills. And if you've never used little routine cards like this with your kids, they are really a good help. I highly recommend trying them. So I always forget to film when we're in a store shopping. If it's just Zia and I, like, if Fraser's there, then I can think of multiple things at one time. But if it's just us two, then I completely forget. But we just went to Target and Hobby Lobby, like two of my dangerous stores, but we really just stuck to what we needed, which is good. Um, I got things for my organizational projects and then also for her for her little routine project. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited with what we got at Hobby Lobby. I found some good things, I think, to use. And so I would show you right now, but she's really starving for a snack. So we're gonna get home, get her a little snack, and I can show you some grand crack graham crackers and then I can show you what we got at Hobby Lobby and how we're going to use those things. Okay so I went ahead and got some of these little self laminating sheets at Target so that I can laminate her cards just to make them a little bit more sturdy. And then the other thing I wanted to do was trying to think of how do I want to set up her little routine cards. <laughs> Back up please. I wanted to set them up in kind of a cute sturdier way. Um, and yeah, you can play with the pegs. Let me open them for you. And then also, I wanted to use some little pegs because I saw um, an application like that where someone had them with pegs, and I liked that. And then I also got lucky because what I found is actually, I didn't have to like really do much else with it because there were some really raw things that I would have had to like put some sort of hanging device on it and all that. I ended up finding something that was just already set up, ready to go, which is <laughs> perfect. And now they're tiny pegs, little tiny pegs. And also they can easily be taken from here to the RV and used again when we're in the RV. So, awesome. Let me show you what I got. Zia helped pick these out. These are her favorite. And I like the little balls, the wooden balls on the string because it, it's a bit more like playful and childlike. So I really like that little design aspect of it. But babies can't chew it up. But babies can't chew it up, no. And I like just the wooden stuff. I really like the natural. Baby to chew it up. So if I wanted to, you know, you could like paint this 
or stain it and whatever like to match your stuff. I'm not gonna do any of that right now. I'm gonna leave it natural. What I thought is I could use this one. This is like a smaller, smallish one, but it's more of like a long design. And what I'm gonna do with this one is use this in the bedroom as her morning and nighttime routine. So I'm gonna do morning on one side and then just have it a hook on the wall that we could turn it around for the evening time and have the nighttime routine. So like morning and night kind of bathroom getting ready routines. And then I've got this larger one that is matching. It has the same little wooden ball string, but this is a larger um, square one. And I'm gonna use this out here in the living room somewhere for like her daytime routine as far as like activities, eating lunch, cleaning up, all those types of things that happen throughout the day, which is really what she's struggling with right now is having consistency and like what comes next during the day. Because to be honest, like we don't have any consistency with that. So this is gonna help and it's big enough that I can do like a couple of rows of the little cards. Um, so I'm trying to keep everything, like I like this one being one row left to right because practicing everything left to right helps them with their reading like as they develop and learn to read. So we're gonna keep obviously left to right, but we can make multiple rows with this. And again, with this one, I could use front and back. So I could flip it if, you know, like for example, if we had sort of, I don't know, two different styles of daytime routines that were consistent, but both slightly different, I could use that in that way if I wanted to. So right now I just have plans for one side of this board, but it's nice to know that I have the option to flip it around. I got this restickable tabs for mounting because at first I was going to do Velcro to Velcro these on, but I found these and I figured this is going to work even better. So I'm just going to cut little strips and put it on the peg and stick it onto there so that then the cards, pegs will stick onto the board and then the cards will stick like this. And my, my thinking, my idea is maybe I'll have like a little basket on the floor next to each of these boards that as she goes through them and as we do something, she can take it off the peg and put it in the basket and then only the cards that are coming up next are remaining on the boards and the things she's already done are not on the board anymore. So that's kind of my thinking, my idea. We'll see if it works actually works out that way in implementation. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. I think it's gonna be really cute for you, love. What are you ready to do? Be ready to do. Get up to mischief? What are you ready to do? Are you ready to take a nap, huh, if you would actually take a nap? Okay guys, I haven't laminated the cards yet, but I was just putting the pegs on, so I kind of lined it all up to see how it would fit. And look how cute this looks. It's adorable. It could be a little bit longer, but what I did is I just am using like the final, like the bedtime and for the morning one, the wake up. So ones that aren't really like, you know, things that you have to do specifically, I'm putting those kind of on the edge. So, and it'll actually work out because this way is the front here. And if I put the same thing on the other side, that will be the front on that side. So it's like the end of one and then the start of the other one when it's read this way. So I think it came out super duper cute. Do you love it, love? Yeah. It's only me left now. I'm sorry about the bad lighting. It's late um, and we're inside with horrible lights. But anyway, I'm gonna close this out today because Zia's already in bed. She had an epic, epic meltdown this afternoon. And I had flashbacks to when she was like a year and a half and she had these huge major meltdowns like every single day. And this was a big one. It was a doozy. Like she has not done this probably in a year and a half or two years almost now. Um, yeah, and it was harder because she's bigger and harder to like control. Because it was to the point where she was literally like thrashing herself around like I was afraid she was going to hurt herself. So I had to kind of keep her restrained, keep her in like padded safe areas um so yeah obviously we don't show that stuff on our blogs but i do want to point it out or bring it up every now and then because it is reality and uh, most people don't talk about these things and then when real families have to go through this they think like they're the only ones and there's something wrong with them and that's not the case we all have our struggles and i even made a video um a while back, a long time ago, on my own personal Lauren Bailey account, YouTube account, about highly sensitive babies or high needs babies, um, because that is what Zia is. She's definitely 
has traits that are different from other children. Um, she is very intense. She's highly sensitive to other things. And when she has moods, they're highly intense. Um, but that's for the good and the bad. So, you know, just keep that in mind. She's been much more mellow these days. Um, but like even today, she was in a really good mood. But what happened is she was really overtired because she keeps waking up early and she like wants to get up as soon as she wakes up. And I try to keep her in the bedroom um, and try to encourage her to go back to sleep. But even by keeping her in the bedroom, she still will just be awake in bed um, and just repeatedly asking, can I go out yet? Can I go out yet? So yeah, she's just, she's overtired. And so every little thing will set her off and she does not... <laughs> She refuses to take naps at all during the day, so we're going to work again on trying to improve more of a quiet time in the middle of the day to help her reset a bit. Um, I've been poor with that. Ow! I've been poor. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I've been poor with that lately because I've been trying to get so much done during the day, and she typically wants to tag along with me, so I mean, she's being tagged along for a lot of things during the day and it's just wearing her out so yeah anyway I just wanted to let you guys know that so that other families know that you're not alone when these things happen um, and if you guys have any other questions about that in particular drop them in the comments below I'd be more than happy to talk about it because I think it's something that does need to be talked about um, and I do know other families who are like that so yeah anyway that's it for today's vlog I'm going to go back to being my um I'm going to go back to my creativity with making Zia's little routine boards because I haven't totally finished that. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. I do have to go back to the store to get some more pegs because I should have bought two, two packs of pegs and I didn't realize there were 24 in there. It looked like a bunch, but I need a few more. So anyways, I'm going to do that. Try to relax, calm myself down, maybe get something to eat because I haven't eaten yet. Um, and then, yeah, turn myself in for the night try to get some sleep as well so we can rest start fresh again tomorrow hope you guys are having an amazing december and we'll see you again tomorrow for vlogmas bye guys